welcome back to my channel. So today's Vlogmas is going to be a little bit different. If you've been watching my vlogs, then you know that we did inherit some furniture from my grandma. So I wanted to share with you um, what pieces we got and where we put them in our house. And we also kind of rearranged a lot of furniture to accommodate these new pieces. So I wanted to kind of do an updated home tour plus all of our holiday decor that is out. So this is going to be a holiday home tour. And I did one of these last year, so I will link that one down below. So if I don't mention certain items, it might be because I've already talked about it in depth in that video. So you can also check out that video. I'll be sure to link it down below. And if you are new to my channel, then welcome to my home. So this is the first room that you walk into when you come through the front door. And this is our foyer, and we did get one new piece for this room. Um, as you can see, this is just a pretty narrow room, and it's pretty empty. So we got this curio cabinet from my grandma, and I love it. I think it's so nice right here. David went ahead and um, attached it to the wall so that Cal can't knock it over. So I think this piece is really nice to display things. Right now, it's not very full since we just got it. I don't know what all to put in it yet. But as of right now, I do have these two um, snow globes that are from the year that I was in the Nutcracker in 2007. They were a present from my parents, so I thought that would be nice to put in there for Christmas. And then I have this Cookies for Santa plate that's really nothing special, but I just thought it was cute there. So I'm thinking throughout the different seasons, I'll kind of put whatever um, pertains to that season, like pumpkins or anything like that up here. And then I also want to keep special things in here as well. So both of these trains are my grandpa's. He used to work on the railroad, so I thought it would be nice to have those in here in memory of him. And as we get older and attain more special items, I can fill this up with just keepsakes and special things. And I really like it. And it also lights up. And you can turn the light on and off in there. And then right off of the entryway is my office. I also have an office tour. I did this office over the summer, so I will link that video down below if you want to see in detail how I decorated my office and where everything is from. I will link that below. As far as holiday decor in here, the only item I have is that small rose gold tree. It is from Michael's. I got it last year, and I just thought it looked good in this room as a little bit of a holiday item. And to the left of the entryway, this is my favorite room in the house now. I absolutely love this. This is a china cabinet that we got from my grandma, and then we also got her dining room table. So her dining room table is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it comes with pads to protect it, but I like to have it open, especially since no one's using it right now. But if we entertain, I will probably use the pads and then a tablecloth. And it also has two leaves. So I have one leaf in it right now. And I can also add a second leaf and make it even longer, but I like it with just the one. And the chairs that come with it are just so absolutely gorgeous. They're cream and just really, really beautiful. I absolutely love them. And then as far as decor for this table, I just got this table runner from Home Goods a couple weeks ago specifically for this table. I knew we were getting it and I was super excited for this table runner. Only thing is I wish that it went all the way to the edges of the table but I think it still looks okay but it is a gray faux fur and it also makes this table look a little bit more modern because this is a very like vintage table set in my opinion so I feel like this faux fur kind of helps bring it more into today's era and then as far as decor on top I just have these two reindeer that we've had forever from TJ Maxx and then this floral arrangement everything is from Michaels in there and I've had this floral arrangement for a long time it used to go on our kitchen counter but it was too a little bit too big and like annoying on there so I really like it in this room it's definitely takes up a lot of space and really looks nice and then this is the china cabinet that we got my grandma is super happy that it is staying in the family um, so it's so pretty I love it and it does also have a light and you can adjust it in there to make it dimmer or brighter. I have it kind of right in the middle right now and then the back of it is mirrored. And then inside I have all of my grandma's crystal and china. So I've got all these beautiful crystal wine and water glasses. These glasses I got for Christmas last year. They're actually just from Home Goods, but they're really, really beautiful. And then all of her crystal trays I got to have and I think that is a decanter and then a salt and pepper or sugar 
thing. I'm not really sure. And then I also got her china, which is this really pretty blue. And I don't know if there's like a correct way to set this up. I kind of just put everything in however I liked. And then she also had some like little like plate stands. So I put some of the plates standing up and I just kind of put it all in there. And then it has really nice storage. We've got all of our um, like nice silverware in here, plus like some serving pieces. So I'm really excited because now I feel like I could throw an actual like adult fancy dinner party in here and it would be amazing. Okay, so here's the family room. You guys are probably pretty familiar with this space now if you've been watching my videos for a while. Um, so not a whole lot in here has changed, but we did move this hutch. So this hutch used to be in our dining room, but now we have the new one. So we moved it right over here. And this is like our coffee bar. I love this piece because it is very handy. I like that I can keep all of our coffee like in this one space and it doesn't have to take up space on our counters. So I have two coffee machines and then I just have this little tray with all of our coffee mugs. And then in there are um, coffee, more coffee mugs and like actual coffee. And this piece also lights up. Our family room looks like this. I did the little reindeer uh, wreath around the reindeer head again. I think that's so cute. And then the mantle has stayed pretty much the same. I did get this cute little elf from my grandma. So he's like a little vintage elf. And that is all the same. I just have two reindeer down there. I can't do too much down there because Cal already picks everything up that's on the fireplace. So, and I don't ever turn the fireplace on when he's in here. And then this table, I have this beautiful piece. I got this at TJ Maxx this year. Um, I think it's really pretty. It is like a snow covered holly wreath. And then inside I just put a Bath and Body Works candle. And then we have our two faux leather couches, which eventually we're gonna have to replace because they're getting really worn down. Um, but we just have some pillows on here. These pillows I got this year from Target. They are really pretty, just a soft gray faux fur. If you guys can't tell, two things about my house are faux fur and deer. Those are like my two favorite things to decorate with. So we have a lot of both of those. So there's some gold deer pillows. Those are old and these pillows are from last year as well. So I'm not gonna go into detail on those. Over here, I just have a little floral arrangement, a candle and a little owl. Here's our Christmas tree. This is our third year with this tree. It is a white nine foot pre-lit tree from Target. And I really wish I had more going on with it because I see other people's trees and I think they look more full if they have like larger pieces and more ribbon. It looks a little bit empty to me, but that's okay because I know we will um, get more and more ornaments as our family grows and as we get older. So I don't want to fill it up too much right now because this is our family tree. So we do have a lot of like special ornaments like our first Christmas in 2010, um, when we were pregnant. I have Cal's first Christmas. So it's a lot of special ornaments on here. This is the one that I got this year of Cal. I love, love it. I'll actually link the website down below where I had that made. And I think this tree is just really, really pretty. And I like that it's white because it kind of breaks it up in here because everything is dark since we have all this dark woodwork in our house. And then over here is this little table. I love how this looks now. So this little table actually used to be on this wall, but we moved it because we needed to make room for the hutch. So I moved it right behind the couch and I think it looks so nice. Um, it's pretty much the same as the way it was before. We just have some family photos. Over here I did get these two white Christmas trees from TJ Maxx. I think they are so cute. And then I have this candle holder and this reindeer from Target a few years back. And then right here I keep all of my Instagram um, chat books. And then I just have like a little floral arrangement and like two boxes down there. But I really like the way that that kind of breaks up the space and how it turned out. And moving on to the kitchen. Here is our kitchen. So the kitchen table this year, I wanted to go really simple with it. Uh, these are kind of trending this year, these like pine cone trees. 
So I found a couple of them at TJ Maxx that I was super excited about. I love this one. I think it was like $12. And it's just a short one. And then it's a gold and white pot, which is like perfect with my decor. And then these two items I've already had in the past, so I put those there. So I think it's just a nice, super simple arrangement on this table because we do sit at this table a lot, so I didn't want a whole lot going on because usually there's stuff all over it. And here's our kitchen counter. And like I said, I used to have that big floral arrangement on here and it was a lot. Um, so I love this flocked tree. I found this at TJ Maxx and it is just a pine tree that is flocked and then it also has a burlap sack around the base so it's really simple yet really really cute and, and then i have this santa stops here sign so you just change the days on the chalkboard that's from target i got it last year at the end of the year so when it was on clearance and i haven't used it yet so this is the first year that it's out so i think that looks really nice for the kitchen okay and then walking through nothing really going on here i do have um, holiday cards there and like some little details there that leads out to our garage and then this way is a powder room and the laundry room which we do not need to look at that <laughs> um, and then this room in one of my vlogs recently I shared that I was updating this bedding it used to be black and white and it was just kind of harsh in this room so I just found this soft plush um, gray comforter from TJ Maxx for $19.99, so it's a really good deal. And then these pillows are from Walmart, and I think they look so cute, and they were so inexpensive. <clears throat> and then we got this chair for my grandma. This is really special to me because she used to rock me in it all the time. And David doesn't like it that much, but I think it's really cute. It's like a really pretty pink color, and I think if we have a girl, it would make the perfect rocking chair. So it's in here for now. Um, this right now, actually, this room is, I guess I call it my dressing room. <laughs> Before we had kids, we had a lot of space to just kind of spread out. So I made this into like a closet room. I've got nail polish and jewelry and shoes and scarves. And then there's even like a rack over there and a closet with some stuff. Got my mirror. So I really love this room, but I know if we uh, have more children, this will probably end up being the next nursery because it's the last room that we have available on this floor of the house. So uh, this could definitely be a cute little nursery in here. Okay, now we are back into the family room. I will show you our bedroom. So we've actually lived in this house for six years and we've never had like true bedroom furniture. The only pieces we've had are this bed, which this bed is everything. I love this bed. It's from Ashley's Furniture. And then we have this like boring piece right here that holds our TV. Um, that we got at like a furniture outlet store. And then we had two nightstands that didn't match each other. And that was all we had in here. So now we have actual bedroom furniture. So first we got this piece. This dresser, it's gorgeous. Um, it has this beautiful mirror on it. And then the drawers are lined in velvet and it's even got like a jewelry spot. And it's just really, really, really beautiful furniture. I love it. Um, it's pretty empty right now because like I said, I do have that other room where I keep a lot of stuff. But if we expand our family, then I will definitely be filling up these dressers. I also got the chest that goes with it. I did go ahead and move all of my stuff into the chest and I just love how easily the drawers slide. I almost feel like my pajamas and stuff like aren't even nice enough to go in, the, in this furniture because it's just so gorgeous. Um, our curtains, by the way, are definitely in need of an update. So if you know of any good places to find curtains, let me know. These actually came with our house and they're pretty hideous and they're also falling apart so we need new curtains <laughs> and here's our bed we got this bedding uh, this year but the only thing is like I maybe I need to order California King from now on because it doesn't actually cover the whole bed it's other people's beds do that like I don't know why it's every single time I order a comforter never covers our bed so I may have to order a different size but that is what our bed looks like it's kind of sad we need some new pillows and I need to spruce it up 
And then here are the nightstands that we got. They're so gorgeous. They're marble on the top. I don't have a lot going on. I just have our baby monitor an oil diffuser and a box of Kleenex. <laughs> so it's kind of boring, but I love the fact that it has drawers because now I can like keep all of my stuff in there. Um, our old dress, our old nightstands were just like a stand. It didn't have anything on it. So Cal was always pulling my lotions and all that stuff down. So I think it looks really nice. And David's is over here and there's nothing on it but a candle. So I love how tall they are too because our old ones used to be like a lot shorter. So they're very tall. And really pretty there's our bathroom I'm not gonna go into detail in here because there's really nothing new or holiday in here but that's what our bathroom looks like and we'll walk right back out we also have um, an upper deck that David put Christmas lights out on and then down this hallway is the powder room and then Cal's nursery and I will also link Cal's nursery tour down below in case you're interested in watching that because I'm not going to go through there right now. And then I just have some garland wrapped around the staircase to show you the basement. Okay, and I'll also show you guys our basement. We're having a party tomorrow, so that's why it is all decked out like this. Um, but I'll show you a little mini tour down here as well. So right when you come down the stairs, this is the restroom. I just have a little Christmas party sign on here. And then this is the guest bathroom. I got this really cute garland from Michaels this year. It's so cute. It's like Santa um, boxers. It's like all of his laundry. And I thought it was really cute, especially for the bathroom. And then we also have a little tree in here that has like um, drinking themed ornaments on there. And then this is the bathroom. And then I got these towels this year. These are so cute. I just got them from TJ Maxx. I'm obsessed. And then these green ones are from Target. I'm not sure if there's a special way to hang towels. I don't really know. I don't think they look that great as far as the way that they're folded, but maybe there's maybe I need to watch a YouTube video on how to do it better, but that's what they look like. And then coming out to the main area, sorry it's a little bit messy because we are still getting some things ready, but it's just all stuff for the party. But I will be doing a tour on how our party is set up for that. But right now we're gonna focus on a home tour and decor tour. So this is our family room down here. And as far as decor goes, you can see I've got lots of garland everywhere. So there's some garland. That one says Merry Christmas. I also strung some lights just kind of randomly throughout the basement just to kind of spruce it up and get it ready for the party. We have this pillow. It's our family Christmas photo. I think it's hilarious that it's on a pillow. We've got some cute pillows over there. We've got a little bar cart over there. And then this guest bedroom. Oh shoot, how embarrassing. I didn't make the bed, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not gonna, <laughs> don't judge me. I didn't make the bed yet. But this is the guest bedroom and this has changed a lot now because we actually got new furniture down here as well. So this piece, oh, you guys, I love this piece. This was actually my piece growing up as a child. It's a wardrobe and I love it. So I filled it up. It used to be some old like Walmart shelves over here filled with crafts. So I threw those out and I put all of our craft supplies in here. It's all like really nice and organized now. I don't do like a ton of crafts, but when I do, it's nice to have it all organized. And then this area over here, this is actually the table I'm gonna use to wrap Christmas presents this year. Um, this table like pulls out, it's from Pier 1 a few years back. But yeah, so this is a really good wrapping station now. And then, don't look at the bed. We got these new nightstands. These are, these are from my mom. She had them and she didn't want them anymore. So we got them and they're perfect in this room because this room was already kind of black and silver. And this uh, bookshelf just moved over here. It used to be on a different wall. And there's like a little desk, desk area. So this is that guest bedroom. And we also have we also have our Christmas tree down here. This one is just really fun. It's got, I did get these this year from Michael's, these big like candy pieces. But everything else is pretty old. We've had it all for a while. Um, we've got little elf feet sticking out on the top 
and over here we actually did a lot of furniture rearranging <laughs> so we have this little piece of a couch we actually have a really large sectional and the pieces come apart so I'll show you that real quick so this is the sectional and all the pieces come apart so we have this piece here and then we split that piece off and then we split this piece off just to make more seating instead of having it all connected in just one large couch now it's like three separate couches so we have that over there i decorated our shark we've got a little costume contest going on for our party um this is our photo booth that we're gonna have that we have set up for the party and then this is the biggest part that's changed down here. I'm loving it. So we have this random basketball hoop thing that my husband bought like five or six years ago. And it was just a random purchase, but it's actually a really fun game. So it used to be in this back corner. It like fit perfectly right there, but it took up like all this space. And the only other thing we had was this table right here. So as you saw upstairs, we got a new dining room table. So we actually brought this one down here. This is our old one. This is a really nice one. It is from like a, it's from Furniture Factory Outlet, um, but it's still, it's very nice. And it makes a perfect game table. So now we have a six person game table because our other one was kind of small and we always had to bring chairs over. So now this is really nice and big. And then we have like this homemade sign that um, my brother-in-law made for us. It lights up and everything. Actually, I'll show you guys. And then these ornaments, garland. <clears throat> So yeah, here's our, our boom sign. So this is kind of the game room section. We've got darts over there. And you know, I was gonna sell this table and I might still sell it, but I don't think it's actually that crowded. It is kind of weird having two tables back to back, but it's gonna be so nice for entertaining when we can have people playing a game over there and then other people playing like cards over here. The last room, I'll just show you really fast. This is just another guest bedroom. Um, nothing special in here. I redid this room last year, so it's all kind of nautical now. Okay, so that concludes my holiday home tour. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload videos about two to three times a week, uh, mostly mommy videos and vlogs. I also do the occasional home decor video, lots of hauls, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. Bye.